Hi everyone, my name is Becky Hoffman and for my master's project for Bowling Green State University I decided to do my research project on utilizing technology tools in an elementary classroom an action research study of the possible benefits in teacher comfort levels. This action research study was conducted to investigate the benefits of utilizing Web 2.0 tools in an elementary classroom. A survey was created and emailed to teachers at an elementary school in a rural Northwest Ohio village. A mixed method approach was used to analyze the data collected from the teacher responses. Overall, teachers acknowledge that implementing Web 2.0 tools into their curriculum benefits students. However, it was also noted that the majority of participants felt that they lacked the confidence or lower comfort levels using technology tools. And for the problem statement, technology is constantly changing and growing, forcing students and teachers to adapt to the changing world. The world is literally at students' fingertips, so teachers and administrators should re-envision the role of technology in the classroom. The web used to be a space where users would simply retrieve information, typically referred to as Web 1.0, and now it has been transformed into Web 2.0, where it's a place for communication, sharing, distribution, and creation. Upon the introduction of Web 2.0, New technology tools started to emerge, typically referred to as Web 2.0 tools. The number of technology tools continues to grow today. The majority of them are free or at a relatively low cost. Web 2.0 tools can be used for blogging, social networking, communication, collaboration, podcasting, and creative expression. Web 2.0 tools can be used all across the curriculum and numerous tools are aligned with major content areas. According to Oliver, the most frequently cited web tools are blogs and wikis. Technology tools allow students to connect and contribute on a global scale rather than just within the classroom. Students become creators of content rather than just consumers. Teachers can use two Web 2.0 tools to engage their students in learning encourage creativity and problem-solving skills, and give their students an authentic audience. Now, teachers face the question, do technology tools help or hinder student growth? Originally, many educators thought of technology as a distraction, and some still do today, while others are resistant to change for the following factors. They dislike change, the rate at how quickly new technology emerge, emerges, security issues, and safety concerns. The problem, teachers may lack the knowledge of how to properly implement the technology tools into a classroom setting that would encourage student growth. In order for technology use to be effective, it must be purposeful and implemented correctly. There's a difference between teaching with technology and teaching through technology. Others may be scared of change or stuck in their traditional ways of using paper and pencil methods. Some teachers may also have a hard time relinquishing their power and control in order to allow students to successfully use technology tools. Educators may also not be given professional development opportunities to learn about Web 2.0 tools. Some school districts are relying on a virtual technology coach to provide professional development opportunities for their staff members. In many of those cases, the teachers felt confident integrating new technologies into their classroom with a full-time on-site technology coach available. The purpose of this study is to investigate the possible benefits of utilizing Web 2.0 tools in an elementary classroom. The study will also take into account the comfort levels of teachers implementing those tools into their classroom. To do this, the following two research questions will be explored. The first research question, does the use of Web 2.0 tools in the classroom have any benefits? And the second research question, 
What are the teacher comfort levels in utilizing these tools? This study is important to me because I'm actively interested in finding out ways to better accommodate my students. When I started my graduate course program, I thought I was a tech-savvy person, but quickly learned that there was so much that I still needed to learn. Throughout my first few years of teaching, I noticed the varying abilities and comfort levels of teachers with technology. I noted some teachers still felt uncomfortable using a smart board and instead relied on blackboards while others had a bring-your-own-device policy and allowed their students to utilize technology tools. Many expressed interest in learning how to incorporate more technology tools in the classroom. And here's the research design. Action research is being used in the study because the information being collected will be used to improve instruction. This study is using a mixed methods research design, specifically the triangulation mixed method design. The study is mixed methods because both quantitative and qualitative data were collected. The quantitative data came from the closed questions in the teacher survey, while the qualitative data came from the open-ended questions in the survey. And here is the sample and sampling method. The participants in this study our elementary educators at a school in Northwest Ohio. The teachers surveyed were from the same school district and school building. All participants were female and Caucasian. The majority of participants were in the 30 to 39 age category, which the number would be four. Kindergarten teachers were also the majority of respondents, and three of those teachers responded. The study used a sampling method based on convenience, since the teachers were easily accessible through email. The demographic information of the participants will be given in, on the next slide. And right here um, we have a table of all of the demographic information of all the participants in the survey. The instrumentation and procedures. Data from the study was collected through a teacher survey. A 26-question survey was created using Qualtrics. The survey was sent out once via email to an entire elementary teacher staff, which consisted of grades K to 5. A reminder was sent out a few weeks later, but didn't yield any more survey responses. The results were analyzed, and the data that was collected followed the descriptive statistics method. Now for the results. Descriptive statistics was used to analyze the data for each question. A few of the survey questions were for demographic purposes, and those results were shown on one of the previous tables. Here are the, the results for the first research question, which was, does the use of Web 2.0 tools in the classroom have any benefits? The survey responses for the first research question will be summarized in the following section and shown on the figure on this slide. According to survey results, 88.9% of the participants felt that Web 2.0 tools actively engage their students in learning. 44% stated that technology tools allowed their students to be creative. And the survey results also found that 33% of participants loved that students were collaborating while only 11% felt that the Web 2.0 tools allowed their students to have an authentic audience. Two participants, which would be 22.22%, noted that Web 2.0 tools allowed students to interact with one another and with the teacher as well. Another 22% stated that their students benefited from those tools be, by being encouraged to be problem solvers and critical thinkers. 22% of the participants also mentioned that technology tools open up the world to their students. All participants, so 100% of them, agreed that technology tools help prepare their students for the future. Now for the results for the second research question, which was, what are teacher the teacher comfort levels in utilizing these tools? The survey questions for the second research question are summarized in the following section and displayed on the figure shown on the slide. 
According to survey results, only 44% of participants felt that they know how to effectively use and feel comfortable utilizing Web 2.0 tools in their classroom. 33% stated that they know how to use technology tools, but would feel more comfortable if they knew how to properly implement them into their classrooms while 11% mentioned that they have heard of Web 2.0 tools but never have used them in the classroom. 88% of participants mentioned that they would feel more comfortable and confident if they would receive professional development opportunities on some of the Web 2.0 tools. And all participants, 100%, agreed that um, they have more to learn about Web 2.0 tools. The conclusions of my action research. Overall, the participants noted that there are numerous benefits of using Web 2.0 tools in the classroom. The responses varied, but all participants acknowledged that there are benefits. All participants agreed that using Web tools in the classroom prepared their students for the future. Comfort, comfort levels varied among the participants with some feeling confident and comfortable using Web 2.0 tools, while one per participant hadn't utilized any tools yet. The majority of participants desire professional development opportunities on how to effectively use technology tools in their classrooms. All participants acknowledge that they still have more to learn about Web 2.0 tools. Now for the limitations of this action research study. The external validity of this study is limited because of the small number of respondents due to school being out of session. The study would be more reliable with a larger sampling group from various districts instead of from the same district. There is an internal, internal validity issue as well because even though the surveys were anonymous, participants may have tried to please the researcher. Some of the participants may not have been completely truthful just selecting answers that they think the researcher would want to hear. And after conducting my action research study, I have the following recommendations. Results from this action research study indicate that teachers felt there are benefits for utilizing Web 2.0 tools in the classroom. However, it was also noted in the second part of the survey that teachers desire more professional development opportunities. Recommendations for future classroom actions would be to continue implementing Web 2.0 tools into the classroom. Their use must be effective for student learning and not just simply used to be included in a lesson. Personally, I will continue to research best methods and ways to incorporate technology tools in the classroom. According to the results, teachers would benefit from an online resource for professional development. A Google site website for elementary educators will be created that includes tutorials, handouts, and examples of how to use various Web 2.0 tools. Someday, the website could be possibly be a place for educators to gather ideas and collaborate. Further studies will need to be done in order to provide a better picture and sampling size of the benefits of using technology tools. In addition, Follow-up studies could be done to see if the research page benefited both students and teachers. And here are my references for my action research study. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. And thank you so much for listening to my presentation.